We get to work with some of the most passionate people in the world because they have dedicated their lives to helping people improve their own lives. Cisco gives us that opportunity. When I began the organization, I searched everywhere for partners. And I read this uh, speech by John Chambers about his own struggles in education. And I saw that the company is really deeply devoted to this human network. Cisco's public benefit investments vision is to use the network as the platform to help underserved communities. Fred Mednick and the work he was doing very much was an example of what a human network could actually be and could do as it relates to teaching and teachers. I think it's one of the most important things that we can do is to connect the teachers to each other because that's how they learn best. Certificate of Teaching Mastery is a five course, largely self-paced but mentor-driven professional development program for teachers. We initially invested in the Certificate of Teaching Mastery in order to bring a baseline level of competency to teachers in developing countries. The Teachers Without Borders tool set is a combination of social networking tools and content management and development. The wonderful thing about the toolkit is because it was developed on an open source platform, it has the ability to be expanded upon. There's members in 119 countries. Uh, there are projects in Asia and Africa, you know, Central America. South Africa is an interesting place where Teachers Without Borders is making a pretty large impact. Via the Teachers Without Borders network, the teachers were able to bring their students together from South Africa as well as the Canary Islands to mentor one another as students. Great example of success. The Cisco Fellowship Program is something I brag about all the time wherever I go. It's one thing for a nonprofit person to have invented what I invented, and it's another thing to deploy it on a large scale, of which I have been clueless. And so the Cisco Fellows have given us a, a set of skills that everybody in the organization knows about, and it's because of them. The relationship between Cisco and Teachers Without Borders has evolved from an advice and counsel part to being a Cisco grantee. Cisco has developed and nurtured this organization, and there are no expectations that that relationship will last forever. And uh, so they're creating self-reliance and strength, and, and we're giving a lot of that back to Cisco now. Teachers Without Borders' long-term plans are to innovate in this area of tools, to connect with millions of teachers around the world, but to move teachers from being classroom teachers to teacher leaders so that they can have this multiplier effect. And the overall goal for me is to make the most compelling case possible that teachers are the, the key to international development. This is a wonderful way of building relationships that are gonna last for years beyond what is happening today. I'm a little awed by working with Teachers Without Borders in Cisco because it's strange to have an idea and have it take off. And in other times I say, I feel absolutely blessed. Most of the time I feel absolutely blessed.